In this video, we're going to go over some basic tips and safety instructions for using a craft knife. First, understand that the sharp part of the knife is that diagonal bright white looking shiny edge that you see at the tip. When holding the craft knife, hold it on the rough part using the hand that you write with. You will always need to cut on a self-healing mat, never straight on the tabletop or any other surface. Making a cut with a craft knife on regular paper should not involve much pressure. It should feel like drawing. When you get your craft knife from your teacher, it will have a plastic cap on it. You'll carefully take the cap off and keep it on your tabletop so that you don't lose it. Before you begin cutting, always take a good look at your knife. You may want to check to make sure the blade is not loose, as these blades are removable and replaceable. You do not need to ever replace blades on your own. Bring your knife to your teacher if you ever think the blade needs to be replaced. If it becomes loose, you can tighten it on your own by turning it in a clockwise fashion. The self-healing mats are green on one side at our school and black on the other side. If you look up close, you can see how there are little lines from where the knife cuts into the mat, but it leaves a flat surface still on the mat, which is why it's called self-healing. To practice using a craft knife, we're going to complete the exercises on this worksheet. Start on the top with the easiest exercises. It is very important when cutting that you keep your fingers out of the direction of the blade or else you will cut yourself. I prefer to turn my paper so that I'm always pulling my knife toward me. For some reason, that's comfortable for me. Also, you can use a ruler to help you cut a straight line if you find that you have trouble doing a straight line without a ruler. You can watch how when I cut out this square, I turn my paper instead of my blade. I keep my fingers out of the way because I don't want to cut myself. I hold my paper down firmly with the hand I'm not cutting with. And then after I make a cut, I just adjust the paper. Next, I want to show you a tip called overcutting. When you're trying to remove a shape, it's best if you cut the line a little bit longer than what is actually necessary. This is so that it's easier to remove the piece of paper and not have a little tail hanging. Sometimes when a little piece is hanging, then you have to pull it to remove it and you could get a tear. So do you see how I'm cutting a little bit longer than I have to? where that purple line is. I just extended the cut a little bit longer. I'm gonna do that all the way around and then my shape will be very easy to remove. As you work through your worksheet, you'll notice you have some curved shapes. The curved shapes are a little bit harder to cut out with a craft knife, but you can do it. The practice will help a lot. Whenever possible, remove the entire line in one slow and smooth cut. This means try not to lift up your knife completely, but keep it pressed down into the paper and just adjust as needed and continue your cut. You can always turn either your hand in the knife or the paper itself as you work. By the time you work through all the exercises on this worksheet, you are going to be a master cutter with craft knives. Make sure you work from top to bottom. The most challenging exercises on the worksheet do come at the bottom, like that and sign. Good luck with that one. Just remember to really focus on what you're doing when cutting with the craft knife. Keep your eyes on your paper and not on anything else. Have fun, work hard, and be safe. Bye-bye.